Now that dike near Abbotsford, if it isn't repaired in time, water will flow eastward into neighboring Chilliwack. And Chilliwack is where Susanna De Silva joins us from tonight. And, and what are you hearing, Susanna, from people there? Well, that is what people here are worried about. But tonight, they are trying to focus on helping each other. And that is what you see behind me, all of those sandbags. Dozens of volunteers have been working since late last night to fill up sandbags. They're in this parking lot. People can come and get them. A little while ago, an elderly lady came asking if she could get some sandbags. She not only got sandbags, she got volunteers who went to her home to help her set those up. And that community is what people are focusing on, trying to protect tonight, as they worry about how much more water might come. There is urgency behind their efficiency. A dozen dump trucks of sand have been bagged already. Yeah, I just wanted to help out my community. The community is rallying together so incredibly. So there isn't something that isn't getting done. If someone's hungry, there's food. There's bakeries on the front line. There's sand bagging. Um, it's just continuous. Right now we're kind of overwhelmed by a lot of help. This local pastor has been helping organize, giving an outlet to those worried as water here continues to rise. Water is flowing from the western part of Abbotsford east to here. This whole area is part of a massive lake drained to create fertile farmland. Now the water is returning. I think a lot of people do really feel overwhelmed, but I think we're just trying to focus on what we can do instead of what if questions. And trying to help is all many can do. Guides have been rescuing people and ferrying others up and down the Fraser River. We're out here every day and all we want to do is help. Nobody's asking for anything. Nobody's asking for money. Everyone's just basically donating their time and money, fuel, just to get people home safely. Today, Transport Canada issued an interim order limiting boat traffic to essential activity. But that worries people like Wendy Morrison, who hitched a ride to go for her cancer treatment. I would miss my appointments and it's vital that I get there. So awesome. I appreciate their help. Without them, I wouldn't be there. So. Evacuees are also frustrated by the restrictions on access. Just getting medication for the cattle because uh, it's hard to get. They're Chilliwack vets aren't, don't have enough to sell. But the worry over what's been left behind hits hard. Well, I almost threw up, I guess. So, yeah, kind of gut churning, I guess, right? Uh, they're talking weeks, right? So we're planning to put our kids in different, you know, different school because we won't be moving back here for a long time. And that is a sentiment many here are feeling right now. Many here are worried about how long it is going to take. Even if they do stop that flow of water, how long is it going to take to get the water out that is here now? What are they going to find underneath? And of course, that's without adding any more water to the problem. Ian? All right, Susanna, thank you so much.